In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to connect ServiceNow from the Nardo platform. Before we begin, let's preview the incident data on ServiceNow through ServiceNow Web UI. Now let's connect to ServiceNow through Denado Virtual Data Pool. You can configure Denado JSON data source and base views using the ServiceNow REST API. Launch the Denado Virtual Data Port Administration tool and log in with a valid credentials. To create a JSON data source, select File, New, Data Source, JSON. In the Data Source Configuration window, provide the name for the data source and choose the data route as HTTP. Now we need to configure the properties of the data route. You can do this by clicking the Configure button. A new window is presented with several tabs to set up a HTTP connection. Enter the URI endpoint of the ServiceNow REST API and choose the GET method. The URI usually follows the format ServiceNow host slash API slash now slash v2 slash table slash ServiceNow module, which usually be incident, problem, or catalog. For this demo, we are going to use this ServiceNow endpoint URI to connect. If you want to configure additional properties for your URL endpoint, you can do so by adding custom HTTP headers using HTTP headers button. Now we need to provide the authentication details for our connection. Choose the authentication tab and choose appropriate method. In this demo, we are going to select basic authentication. Provide the user ID and password that have access to the ServiceNow REST API endpoint. Click test connection once all the configuration is done to validate the connection. Click OK and save the data source. The next step is to create a base view to introspect the schema of the data from the ServiceNow. Click on the Create Base View button at the top right corner of the data source. A new window called Configure JSON Wrapper is presented. Choose the tuple root of the JSON document that will be returned by the ServiceNow. This property sets the level from which the Denado Virtual Data Port will extract from the JSON document. For now, we can choose the JSON root to select the root node of the JSON document. Click OK to see the schema, then rename the base view and save it. With the data source and base view in place, we can retrieve the data from the ServiceNow. Click the execution panel button on the top right corner of the base view definition. The execution window will be available now at the bottom panel of the base view. Click the execute button on the top right side of the execute tab. You could see the data being retrieved from the ServiceNow and displayed on the Query Results tab. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned about connecting to ServiceNow from Denado platform.